Hey, Rodriguez here. Got a couple of cool new pops to show off. I was just kind of weighing a bit to kind of, you know, gather a bunch. It wouldn't be just a video just on one pop or two pops. And I just haven't had time. And um, the real question is, where am I going to put them all? Because this plate case is pretty full. But anyways, the one I'm going to show off here. First, we got Jack O'Chica. You might have seen him in my BGM episode. I got him from GameStop. I got this one as an exchange for this WWF arcade game that was like the PAL version so, you know, I went back to GameStop, gave it back, I got this instead because it was kind of cool. GameStop exclusive, it's the Halloween edition version of Nightmare Chica from FNAF 4. Um, so far, there is no Jack O'Bonnie, but, I mean, they might make them sooner or later. And um, then we got L with Cake from Death Note. It's Hot Topic exclusive. The regular L is, I guess, him just, you know, just standing without Cake. And um, there's also Light Yagami and Ryuk. But um, I do hope they do make, like, you know, Misa... Me coming, maybe um, white with his black suit from the second season, stuff like that. That'd be kind of cool. And then we got Spider Man from the Marvel Collector Core box, based on Spider Man Homecoming. The movie's coming out just next month, which is like a week or so away. It's like really coming real soon, guys. I really want to watch this one. But um, yeah, let's check it out. It's the exclusive from the Marvel Collector Core, so that'll be cool. And finally, we got Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black which is from Dragon Ball Super, if you guys remember the future Trunks arc, it's um, this evil Kai named Samas that took over Goku's body, and now he's Goku Black, and for whatever reason, when he turns Super Saiyan, instead of the typical, like, you know, blonde hair, it's pink, and he calls himself Super Saiyan Rose. Now, I'm not sure about the accent thing, I think they kind of want to go with Super Saiyan Rose. I've heard a couple of clips, I'm not sure if you're from Xenoverse or just um, Sean Shemmel practicing Goku's lines, but it sounds like the dub is going to go with Super Saiyan Rose, which I really don't know why. Um, like, I'm, I have to watch the episodes again, but I'm pretty sure that in the real, like in, you know, Dragon Ball Super, when they talk, I'm really sure they do say, um, Super Saiyan Rose, you know, like, because it's still, I mean, it's Japanese, but there's still a lot of English words used, like when Vegeta says Final Flash and Big Bang Attack and stuff like that, so, I, I'm pretty sure he still says Super Saiyan Rose, or Super Saiyajin Rose, if you want to be exact, not Rose, so I'm not sure why the dub is doing it, maybe it's just because, you know, oh, I don't want it to be called Rose, way ahead, it sounds girly, so Rose sounds different, but uh, whatever. Anyways, guys, that's a, that's like a rant for another video, and yes, I am wearing uh, um, Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black shirt. I also got from Hot Topic, because I got my Hot Topic credit card approved, that's pretty awesome. But before further ado, let's go to the pops, and let's check out how they work in a display case. Alright, so let's go in the order that I bought these suckers. First we got Nightmare Chica, which, or, you know, Jacko Chica, same difference. But, um, yeah, let's try it out. And again, I gotta say thanks to the guy at GameStop. There was no fuss or no muss. He just, um, looked at my receipt and gave me the store credit, which I decided to use on Nightmare Chica. Or, but, you know what I mean. Okay, so, here we go. Good detail. Got the Let's Eat bib, what's left of it. He's got the, well, she, has got the, um, jack-o'-lantern thing, because, of course, she throws that instead of the cupcake in the Halloween edition. Lots of good detail on how torn up and messed up the, um, animatronic suit is. You see some of the metal thing. I like this, though. You see all the, it's like all around detail. Look at that. There's a big tear here. There's all this tear there. There's a tear in the side there. And even, even, like, the little feathers are kind of torn up with the metal beams under it and everything. And, yeah, it's just very good. Very good. I don't know if this is intentional. It almost looks like a jack-o'-lantern, too. But, um, very good detail. I, I love this one. This one has incredible, incredible detail. One of my favorite ones, I gotta say, so far. And, um, there she is. I keep forgetting, but, yeah, Chica is a she. So, there she is. So, um, oh, camera. Then we got L. So, let's get L out of here. It's pretty cool, and I am glad they made a Death Note, Death Note Pops. I'm also kind of surprised because, well, you know, um, it's already been a couple of years since Death Note's come and gone. So, I'm glad that people still remembered, and, you know, still chose to make a pop. Uh, this doesn't, seem, doesn't come with anything to stand on. Okay, so, there's L. Still got the fork in his mouth, and, yeah, little thing to smile there. He's got his, uh, cake. Because as you know, L is always, always eating sweets. 
of some kind. And I guess that's his typical... So that's kind of cool. So he did a, a, like a two thing. He's in his um, famous kind of weird crouching pose when he sits. And also has some cake to remind us that L likes sweets. And... Huh. Hmm. I guess you'll, he won't have problems standing. Um, I'm not sure. I guess he's okay. Um, Chica I'm not worried about. Again, the character has very big feet and they're kind of spread out. So I'm not worried about Chica um, falling over. These are pretty cool. I like the FNAF Pops. The FNAF characters really go well with the pop design. And yes, there are sister location ones coming soon. So if you want like Ballora and um, Circus Baby and all them, they're coming soon. Okay, so this here is Spider-Man from the Marvel Collector Core. Like I said, there's the extra lines and stuff on the wrists and the sides that the movie version of Spider-Man has. Now, honestly, I can't really blame him because the thing is, I believe that, um, well, basically the first Spider-Man suit from Tobey Maguire, if, if the stupid webbing wasn't silver, was basically very close to the comics. And I think um, in Amazing Spider-Man 2, he also had a very close comic book um, look. So, it's kind of weird because in the movies that for whatever reason he must always have a different suit in each movie, um, they were forced to give him all these extra lines and extra weird things and, and stuff like that just to make him look different, you know. But yeah, and of course he has his arms um, spread out and he has the web beams between his arms, which is something Inspire Man has had in the comic books many times. I'm not sure if that's been in the movies yet, so this would be kind of cool to finally have a reference to it in the movies. There you go. And I still think how his um, lenses open and retract or whatever you want to call them. I think that's a good reference to how in the comic book the eye bubble things, the eye holes or whatever really do open and close depending on his, you know, his facial expression. Whatever. I can't talk. Anyways, let's go with Super Saiyan Rose. And he has his hand in that killer blade attack. And, oh god, I can just rant about that. One of the, my biggest complaints about Dragon Ball Super um, apparently since it's aired in um, Japan in the morning as opposed to prime time back when Dragon Ball Z was new is the censorship with blood and stuff. What was really ridiculous here is all the stabbing and impaling. So anyways, here is Goku Black actually Samas controlling Goku and he has his, you know, hand glowing with that power. Oh, real cool! He actually has the time ring on. That's attention to detail. Because hearing that the hand is covered by the glowing energy, they still do the time ring in his hand. That's pretty cool. That's attention to detail. Real good attention to detail. That's pretty cool. And of course he has the, uh, the earring here. But um, yeah, there he is. He's a pretty cool figure. Pretty cool detail. I really like how they did that. They kept in the time ring. That's pretty good. It's very important to his character and all that. But um, like I gotta say, I just don't like how in Dragon Ball Super in particular, the, the future trunks are thanks to this attack here. Characters are getting impaled left and right. No blood is coming out. They're just getting right back up. I mean, I think he impaled Vegeta, and Vegeta was like near death, but somehow he gets right back up. I, I'm not even, no, there were no sensors involved. He just got right back up. And characters, like, they had all kinds of impaling attacks, and the characters just kept getting back up and back up and back up. And it's kind of like, well, if you don't have the balls to kill off a character or show some kind of ramifications than like stopping killing people left and right. I'm talking about like all the way through where you see the giant blade just sticking out the guy's like the back and everything. It's like do these sayings even have internal organs? I I don't know. Anyways guys, that's what they look like. I do believe they're all pretty good. I think they can withstand the stand test. They're not falling down. Now let's see where I'm gonna put them in the display case because that is the magic question. Where am I gonna put them? Alright guys, so here we got the new Spider-Man right in front of the older Spider-Man pops I got from the Marvel Collector Core. In fact, all three Spider-Man I have here are from the Marvel Collector Core. I never really bought any of the regular Spider-Man in stores. And of course he's next with all the other Marvel characters, but um, I gotta make some room because each Marvel Collector Core box does has a new pop in it, or sometimes even two pops, so I gotta make some room somewhere. And then we got Nightmare Chica there. If you could, there she is, with um, Toy Freddy as I build up my collection of FNAF pop figures. And then we got Al right next to Multical because, hey, they're both anime characters. That's cool, right? And, um, yeah, whenever I buy the other characters, I'll put them all together in a kind of little Death Note section there. So you enjoy your kick there, Al. And, um, finally we got Goku Black, a.k.a. Samas, 
right next to Goku Super Saiyan Blue, which is perfect because they're both from Dragon Ball Super, and it's pretty awesome. Now, I do hope that they do make more characters. I do hope they got to pop up Samas himself, maybe the Samas slash Goku Black Fusion, and maybe, um, like, Future Mai and Trunks from that version, and all that cool stuff. Like, they got to make more characters. Like, they're making all these cool characters, like Frost, and uh, maybe that big dude that's going to fight against Goku in the tournament arc. I mean, they got to make pops with these new characters. It's just pretty awesome. So anyways, guys, my Rodriguez here. See you next time for more pops and more characters. And hey, there I am. See you next time.